Hi, my name is Nancy McGee, San Mateo County Superintendent of Schools. Today, you're going to get an inside look at the world of hospitality, tourism, and recreation in San Mateo County. We're going to start by taking a tour of some of our exceptional hospitality, tourism, and recreation CTE programs, and then we'll hear from real world industry experts to provide valuable insight into the opportunities, wages, and skills needed to succeed in a career in the hospitality, tourism, and recreation industry. These CTE pathways provide students with the educational opportunities needed to prepare them for success in careers in the hospitality, tourism, and recreation industry. And now, without further ado, let's take an inside look into some of our fabulous CTE programs. Uh, this class, Culinary Arts, is pretty fun and every week we do like a lab where we cook or bake and then we will have different food that we will make uh, every week and it's just uh, a very fun class. We start off with the basics and measuring the different types of equipment. We do a lot of baking, work with a lot of doughs, learn about fermentation. Um, we do eventually get into different aspects of meat and poultry and fabrication. Um, there are some pastas and mother sauces involved as well and students do have an opportunity to create their own plans for a meal that they'll work on together. Hospitality and tourism you have to basically like talk with other people and communicate with them so I would say that um, it really preps us for that, especially working with others. So a typical day in my classroom starts with kind of like organizational practices. We keep a portfolio beginning with like a warm-up question and then we kind of move into a specific topic of the day. Um, so they would get a little bit of background information um, on lab days. Then I would do a demonstration um, of whatever specific technique we're doing. So it might be knife skills, might be butchering something might be simply just showing them how a dough might come together and then the students would move their way into the kitchen so then they would be hands-on preparing whatever I demonstrated. I would tell another student that this class is a great opportunity to one, eat great food and two, learn how to make that food and three, be able to cooperate and work with other people. The introductory class is foods and nutrition and that is ninth through twelfth graders and anyone can sign up for that. Then if the students decide that this is a uh, pathway that I am really interested in, then they can pursue that with the next level class, which is the culinary arts class. It's really, it's really fun and you don't have to come in with any requirements at all. Um, you just come in and, hey, this is what we're gonna learn today and the next day we're gonna cook. It's super fun and it's super easy class and it's just great for the future. They earn the California Food Handlers card and that's for free for them. Um, they do an online course and then they're able to have that valid for three years. And then there is a Serve Save Manager certification for my Culinary Arts 2 course, which is the advanced level. Um, they're able to take, um, to learn all the material and then if they choose to, they could take the exam to become Serve Save certified. Uh, so far we've been working on like the basic skills, things like knife skills and um, uh, sanitary safety and whatnot. Uh, so basically learning how to work in a commercial kitchen uh, like the one we have in our classroom. The value of the certifications I would say is um, students see it sometimes immediately. Um, they'll come back and tell me they applied for a job at a local restaurant and they got hired before um, someone they were competing with simply because they were already certified with the food handler certifications. I work in food service so I'm currently uh, working a job at a coffee shop. Uh, every day that I'm in this class I'm learning something that I take into work um, again so I go in the back of the house and I work with the knives or uh, learning cleaning. I'm better at washing dishes which is always great uh, and my teacher's really helpful and um, sort of putting our class in the real world at the same time as we're learning about the subject. This is an opportunity to explore a pathway while earning college credits. Yes, free college credits because this is a dual enrollment class. You can also earn various certifications within the industry such as sanitation, 
banquet services, and beverage services. In this class, I learned important kitchen skills, such as sanitary and knife skills, alongside leadership skills, as we have to designate the important roles, such as the executive chef, sous chef, and other important roles. I think there's a lot of hesitancy that they don't have the skills and they are afraid to try, but you really can come in with no skills and I will teach you step by step how to read a recipe, which tools are used, um, what are the cooking terms, you know, how does that guide you throughout a recipe. definitely think um, it'll help with the workforce, especially since I'm personally wanting to go into culinary arts. Especially if you come in without any knowledge whatsoever, it's just, it'll, it'll really help, even not even just with work, but at home as well. I always tell students you don't have to be in this course because you want to be a chef, um, but many of them go on, I would say, to work in restaurants and even hotels and hospitality. Culinary arts basically teaches us about hospitality and tourism. We learn lots of skills in the kitchen as well, like knife skills and just like the basics. Um, I would say that it really helps us with like working together as a team. I am very proud of all my students. I'm proud of their accomplishments. I'm proud of all the products and um, where they have come from. My favorite part of the job is to work with my students and see how excited they are when they're able to make something out of nothing and just take a few bits and pieces of ingredients and create something that they can be proud of. Uh, this class is very different to other classes uh, because it requires teamwork and com communication skills. Be prepared to cook a lot of food, but then at the end it's really good. because. <laughs> um, I was like, I was like expecting it to be really tiring, but then the people like here in this class is really like, um, it really uplifts my mood and they just have really good energy. My name is Vanessa Garcia. I'm the owner of Seven Mile House. I've been the owner for about almost 17 years now. Started out as a bartender here, and my mom was the cook, then she moved on to server. Seven Mile House um, was established in 1858 during the gold rush. So um, we're called Seven Mile House because we are seven miles from Portsmouth Square, which was mile zero in San Francisco. There used to be a mile house at every mile from San Francisco to San Jose, and we are the only mile house left standing in the original location. It was a place to gather, it was a place to drink, to rest, and, um, and you know, that all happened during and started during the gold rush. Um, I love being able to um, see the people, see our community, being able to help um, people, making people happy every day. Um, it is very gratifying because you know you'll get rewarded every day. You'll see, you know, uh, people who keep coming back and that's really the best uh, compliment anyone can ever get. I think the common misconceptions about, you know, being a server and a bartender is um, that's as far as you can go. It's actually not. May, our bartender here, is actually studying, um, you know, to be an electrician. And when she becomes an electrician, she still wants to work here. We have teachers who work here. And we've had people who worked in real estate who also work here part time. So one of the reasons why they like to work here is because they love the satisfaction of being able to work in front of people and the instant gratification of making people happy. I'll, I'll tell you now, I don't know how to cook, but that didn't stop me from getting into this business. So no matter what kind of skills you do or don't have, don't be afraid to really um, get into it, to try it, you know? And if you fail, that's okay. We actually like people with no experience because how I hire is really based on who you are. If you have the drive to work, and the desire to learn and the values that match ours, which are honesty, integrity, and hard work, 
then you're in. Um, here at Seven Mile, we, you know, we give you more than minimum wage because we, you know, we try to give more to our staff. Um, but you know, you do earn tips when you're a bartender or a server, and as you know, when you do good, you get more tips. And you know, I think the uh, bartenders and servers make, I'd say, thirty to forty dollars an hour. Um, you know, on on a good day. And you know it's definitely very lucrative. The interesting thing is that um, sometimes even when it's not busy, our servers and bartenders actually make more. Why? Because you give better service. Uh, cooks are getting paid great amounts uh, these days, uh, starting at you know 18 to 30 dollars an hour, really. And and that's great. If you want to be uh, a bookkeeper, an accountant, you know you can make. I'd say part time, at least part time, at least forty to sixty thousand dollars, and then when you're an owner, you know the sky's the limit. Even if you don't end up becoming an owner of a restaurant or a chef or a cook or a bartender or a server you know there's a lot of life skills to be learned here and here at seven mile we always say if you've worked at seven mile you can work anywhere because you know it's not all fun and games it's tough too you'll meet so many different kinds of people and you're gonna learn how to deal with them a student who wants to enter into the restaurant industry needs to be hungry. Um, you need to know that it's going to take a lot of hard work and passion to be able to succeed. On behalf of San Mateo County Office of Education's Career Technical Education Programs, I want to thank you for joining us today. Students and families can learn more about hospitality, tourism, and recreation courses at smcoe.org CTE. Thank you for exploring the world of career technical education.